Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I created a Thanksgiving makeup look. This is just kind of what I gravitated towards and instead of doing like my usuals with everything, I tried to mix some things up for you guys. So in case you don't have the La Mer powder, I tried to use something else. I used my Natasha Denona 28 pan eyeshadow palette. Like I've always said this, anytime it's a special occasion, I always reach for those shadows all the time. Christmas, that's what I'm going to use because they are my favorite. But I did. I tried to switch it up for you guys. So if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. My apologies, you guys. I thought I was filming and clearly was not. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I do have the Sicily primer all over my face. Let me see if I can. There it is. The Double Tensor. And then I have the typical ones I always use on my pores, which is MAC Skin Refine Zone. That helps me with my oil production there. <laughs> and then also the Milk Makeup Blur Stick to blur out my pores. And now the foundation that I'm using is the All Hours from YSL with my MAC 170. I'm definitely going to be wearing this foundation for uh, Thanksgiving, so that's what I wanted to use in my video today. I love how long this lasts on my skin, and yet it still doesn't end up looking really cakey, and the coverage is so good. All right, for my concealer, I'm going to try mixing my two favorites. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm going to try it today and see if I like it for Thanksgiving, but I'm going to take Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I need more coverage here, so I'm going to put that there. But I really enjoy the hydrating part of this one. This is the Tom Ford Concealing Pen, and I'm in the shade number three. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put it on the outside. L'Oreal sponge, and just push it into the skin. Yep, I think that looks good. Now I'm just gonna go in with my typical powder. This is the Diffuse Light from Hourglass, and I'm gonna take it on my damp sponge and just set underneath my eyes. I'm going to switch up the powder for you guys. Normally I use my La Mer, but today I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Setting Powder. There's no light in it. It's just ethereal setting powder. I have a love-hate relationship with this, mainly just because of the packaging. It's good for travel, but I honestly don't travel that much, so I have to open up this guy and then like dump it out because it doesn't stay in the, yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. MAC 142, and I'm just going to set all over, throw some powder up into the air. <laughs> for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with Nude Bronze Light from Hourglass. Normally, I would use the Luminous Bronze Light, but this one has a little bit, a <laughs> little bit more of that cooler undertone, so I'm going to take that on my NAR. My Chanel powder brush. Apparently, you know, today is just not my day for talking, but I'm trying real hard, you guys. For my blush, I'm going to shake up one of these guys. This is the NARS Liquid Blush in Luster. I love this formula so much, and I just get such in a rut. Like, I use the same things all the time, so I'm trying to go back to some of my other favorites. And I'm just going to shake this up, put out one pump, and put it on with my Beauty Blender. I love this color so much. And they just, it blends really easily. It stays on for me, and I can put it on top of powder. Like, that's a big thing. I don't like a cream blush or a liquid blush that I can't put on top of powders. I'm going to take that same Beauty Blender and I'm going to use a liquid highlight today. This was, and again, I don't, I forget about these things. They sit in my drawers and then I'm like, I don't use them. I need to use my stuff. <laughs> this is the Marc Jacobs Do You Dew Drops. I like to put this on my hand. Like that's less than a half a pump. And then I'll take my end of my Beauty Blender. I do not like to use, like I use this sponge for my face but I don't like to mix them. So I will always have two different blender sponges if I'm going to put on liquid blush and highlight. It's just a thing for me. But I'm gonna work it into the sponge first and then start to apply. And I just think these are so, so gorgeous, blend out so easily. You could definitely use the Far Sali, like I talked about that one recently. But I really like putting on this kind of thing with a sponge. And the Far Sali does not work with a sponge. I'm going to go in with another one of my old favorites. This is MAC Double Gleam, and this is a Wayne Goss number 16. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm only gonna put it right on the highest point right here so that I get 
a ping. <laughs> I've talked about this before using two different highlights. And then I'm gonna put it on my nose and my Cupid's bow. I'm gonna switch it up on you guys again. Now I usually will use my Sicily powder to buff all over, but today I'm going to use my Absolute powder and this is Absolute Pesh. The other one is too dark and pink for me. I'm gonna take my La Mer powder brush and I'm going to buff with this. Now I can't use as much of this powder as I can with my Sicily because this one is slightly more radiant. So if you're worried about your pores or anything like that, I would stick with the Sicily or even the La Mer. This one is a little bit more shiny. Now I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona Green Brown palette right here, and I'm gonna start on the eyes. I'm starting off with Suede and a NARS 42. I'm just going to dust this into my crease and work it upward so that it acts as my transition shade. I'm taking that same color on a Wayne Goss number 20 and I'm buffing it underneath my lower lash line. MAC 217 and Sandstorm. I'm going to add a little bit more color to the crease. There's literally a bird outside that's driving me crazy. Again, underneath the lower lash line with the 20 from Wayne Goss. MAC 217 and Arizona. Outer corner first and then again into the crease. I'm just slowly getting a little bit of definition. Wayne Goss number 19 and Umber. I'm gonna pop this on the outer V here and then into the crease to deepen it up a little bit more and then we'll move on to the lid. MAC 242 and Antique Olive. This is dry. I'm gonna pop it all over the center of the lid and then I will go back and further define that outer color so I don't completely cover it up. For this inner corner, I'm gonna take a Moonstone. I'm gonna go in with Antique Olive on the lower lash line. This is a BOM 18, I think. Yeah, from Royal and Lang Nickel. And Moonstone in the very front. NARS Contour and Umber for this very outer corner. Then I'm taking Sandstorm again on my Wayne Goss number 20. I'm just blending out the lower lash line. And then I'm going to add mascara and liner. All right, so I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil in the shade number 12, Burgundy Suede. And then same old mascaras as always, Monsieur Big on the top and then Giga Black extended play on the bottom and then for my lips I was like I was so tempted to grab the Dior liquid lipstick but I was like no we are not using the usual today <laughs> and the, I, I love these don't get me wrong I like a lot of liquid lipsticks but I always am going to prefer the ones that don't dry it down all the way because I just have issues with them and I don't like my lips to be dry but this is a gorgeous color so I thought this went well with the look and I'm just going to put a gloss on top we're going to fix everything. <laughs> so this is the Kat Von D bow and arrow. I went ahead and put that on for whatever reason. I just didn't really do a very good job today. So it's okay though because I'm going to put gloss on top. <sighs> I tried to pick a different gloss, you guys. It's just not going to happen. This is number 714 from Chanel. I'm just going to pop this right on top. Okay, so there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if you recreate it or what you plan on looking like for Thanksgiving. I don't even know. I want to go on my jammies. Like, can I go on a onesie, please? <laughs> that would be amazing. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.